We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. In this Eucharist, as we give thanks to the Lord for this wonderful gift of love, let us pray that our hearts may be made like His heart, that we may also be merciful, loving, forgiving. And for the many times that we did not act according to the demands of the Sacred Heart, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the heart of your Son, wounded by our sins, bestow on us in mercy the boundless treasures of your love. Grant, we pray, that in praying him, in paying him the homage of our devotion, we may also offer worthy reparation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you. For you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers, that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of his slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation, for those who love him and keep his commandments. 
but who repays his destruction, a person who hates him. He does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all be my being, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does He deal with us, nor does He requite, requite us according to our crimes. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. In this is love, not that we had loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and His love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in Him and He in us, that He has given us of His Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and, set and testify that the Father sent His Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in Him and He in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in Him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, 
you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. My dear sisters and brothers, this is the first line of a poem written by Elizabeth Barrett Browning, an English poet. And as we celebrate today the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, it is, I think, time, uh, timely that we reflect on this question, how does God love us? The sacred heart of Jesus. The heart is the universal symbol of love. How does God love us? How does Jesus love us? From the first readings, we can get, from the uh, readings of the day, we can get some answers. From the first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, this question of how does God love us is answered by saying, the love of God is unconditional. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay hindi nagbabago. In the first reading, it is said there by the Lord to, the, to His people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. God has chosen the people of Israel. And it was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set His heart on you and chose you, for you are really the smallest of all nations. Hindi ko kayo pinili sapagkat kayong pinakamalaki. Pinili ko kayo kahit na hindi kayo ang pinakamalaki. Pinili ko kayo kahit na kayo ay maliit. So, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, the love of God as shown in the love of Jesus is unconditional. He does not love us because we are deserving of that love. He does not love us because we are good. He did not come and die on the cross because we were holy. In fact, the reverse is true. We were sinners at the time Jesus offered himself on the cross. Ang Diyos kung umibig, hindi tinitignan kung tayo ay karapat dapat. Ang Diyos ay umiibig kahit tayo ay hindi karapat dapat. That is God's love. How do I love thee? I love you unconditionally, says the Lord. From the second reading, from the first letter of St. John, the answer is, the love of God gives what is best. God is love. And because God is love, He sent His Son as expiation for our sins. What greater gift can you give 
if you have already given your son? What greater gift can you give when you have already given the best? Ganyan ang Diyos kung magbigay. Ang ibinibigay niya ay ang pinakamainam, ang pinakamahalaga sa Kanya, ang katangi-tangi. God loves us unconditionally and that, God, and that love gives us the best that He could give. Thirdly, how does God love us? He loves us by making sure that we are safe and comfortable. In the Gospel, the Lord asks, invites the people, Come to me. I know you are burdened. Come to me. I know you are hardened by life's trials and difficulties. Come to me, all of you who are laboring and are burdened, and I will give you rest. It's just like the good shepherd carrying his sheep, carrying the lamb, and bringing the lamb to the greener pasture. Ang tunay na pag-ibig, iniisip ang makabubuti sa minamahal. Ang tunay na pag-ibig, iniisip kung ano ang mainam para sa minamahal. Love is always giving. Kaya kung ang kasintahan nyo, yung boyfriend nyo, sasabihin, sige nga, kung talaga mahal mo nga ako, sige nga, bigay mo na sa akin yung hinihingi ko sa'yo noon pa. Magtalik tayo. Hmm? Babaw, ha? No? Ganun mo lang ba makikita at mapatutunayan ng pag-ibig kapag may nakuha ka? Ang tunay na pag-ibig, Inuuna, hindi ang kagustuhan ng sarili, kundi kung ano ang kapakanan ng minamahal. Come to me, I will give you rest. I know you are tired. I know you are lonely. I know you are confused. I know you have so many questions. Come to me, Jesus said. The gesture of the sacred heart is one of invitation. Come to me, I will give you rest. How does God love us? He loves us unconditionally. He loves us by giving us the best. He loves us by making sure that we are comfortable and safe. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, ngayong ipinagdiriwang natin ang kamahal-mahal ang puso ni Jesus, suriin natin ang uri ng ating pag-ibig. Kasi, hindi ba dapat ang puso natin matulad sa puso niya? Suriin natin anong klase ng pag-ibig ang mayroon tayo. Anong klase ng pagmamahal ang mayroon tayo. Ito ba'y isang pag-ibig na walang pinipili? Isang pag-ibig na ipinibigay ang pinakamahusay? Isang pag-ibig na ang tanging isinasaalang-alang ay ang kapakanan ng minamahal? Most sacred heart of Jesus make our hearts like yours. Amen. Please stand. Together we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only, only Son, our Lord was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born, born of the, the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under, under Pontius, Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We can pray to the Father with great confidence because in Christ He has set His heart upon us. To every petition, our response would be, Fill us with Your love, Lord. Fill us with Your love, Lord. That the Catholic Church may be a credible sign and instrument of Christ's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us, Fill us with, with your, your love, love Lord. Lord. That families may live in through love and mutual understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us, Fill us with, with your, your love, love Lord. Lord. That those who labor and are overburdened may find rest in the generous heart of our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us, Fill us with, with your, your love, love Lord. Lord. That the sick may know the love of Christ as they unite themselves with the suffering of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill, Fill us, us with, with your, your love, love, Lord. That the dead may find eternal joy in the heart of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill, Fill us, us with, with your, your love, love, Lord. In silence, let us pray not only for our own particular needs, but for the needs of those people who are asking us to pray for them. Merciful Father, receive these prayers we offer in union with the pierced heart of your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray, on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love. 
and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ's we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and in him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe 
from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. And together we pray the dedication to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Most, Most kind, kind Jesus, Jesus Redeemer, Redeemer of the of human race, race. Look down upon us, humbly prostrate before you. We are yours, and yours we wish to be. But to be more surely united with you, each one of us freely consecrates himself today to your most sacred heart. Many indeed have never known you. Many too, despising your precepts, have rejected you. Have mercy on them all. Most merciful, merciful Jesus, and draw them, them to your sacred heart. Be King, O Lord, Lord, not only of the faithful who have never forsaken you, but also of the prodigal children who have abandoned you. Grant that they may quickly return to their father's house, lest they die of wretchedness and hunger. Be King of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions, or whom discord keeps aloof, and call them back to the harbor of truth and the unity of faith, so that soon there may be but one flock and one shepherd. Grant, O Lord, to your church assurance of freedom and immunity from harm. Give tranquility of order to all nations. Make the earth resound from pole to pole with one cry. Praise to the divine heart that wrought our salvation. To it be glory and honor forever. Amen. Please. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.